happy Saturday morning, Henderson homies. Thanks for watching my updates and checking everything out. Um, this morning is cold outside, real cold. Temperature is 37, but it feels like 33 degrees. That puts us in the coldest hail category, and it's cold out here. Yeah, I'm seeing my breath. It's really cold. I was going to wear a hat, but I hated to take away from this homemade stuff going on here. So, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit, okay? So, but today we're going to have a pretty good day, it looks like. It looks like we're going to get up to the low to mid 50s, which puts us in the sketchy category. So, that's that's pretty decent. You know, you still got to watch the sketchy category. If you don't know why, go back and watch that weather scale video so you can find out what's going on when you're dairy, you're on that time or on that time in that scale of sketchy okay and then you can find out what's happening why why we call it sketchy and why we picked it that and then you'll be like oh yeah that makes so much sense okay yesterday um i missed out on a birthday i mean, I can't miss this girl's birthday okay um i me and my hu husband right now have a very unhealthy addiction to the yellowstone so I kicked out yesterday after I realized I done been at the Yellowstone Ranch for like hours. It's ridiculous. This is why I don't get hooked on this stuff. It doesn't work for me. Yes, it takes way too much time and I got things to do. Things to do, like birthday shout outs. Shane Taylor's birthday was yesterday. So Shane Taylor and I uh, met each other years and years ago. Our kids were young. We worked um, at the penitentiary uh, kitchen as an assignment during one of our stints into the Kentucky pen and uh, she is a wild and crazy girl I hope she had a great time on her birthday and I hope she celebrated her birthday all month you know how important it is January birthdays it's about it all month so Taylor Taylor good lord see it's too early things are not flowing right Shane Shane Taylor I hope you had a fantastic birthday girl and I hope you just continue celebrating. We still got a few days left. I hope you tear it up good this weekend. Okay? So let's go on to Gala Cakes. They got their Valentine's Day stuff going on. They've got some great pictures. They look like someplace that you would want to buy stuff from for your Valentine's. So let's do that, folks. Okay? We got an announcement down at Sheer Attractions here in Henderson. New stylist. Well, I don't think she's new, new, but back to... Uh, Sheer Attractions, uh, Shelly, no, yeah, Shelly Hilliard. Oh my gosh, I am way struggling today. I can't read my writing. I can't speak. I can't talk. I can't process anything. So don't expect big things today, folks. <laughs> Coming from someone who acts like they give you big things on the other day. Updates. I think I'm having a stroke or something. Right here on, right here on this little update. Anyways. Shelly Hilliard has got appointments open now at the Sheer Attractions. She left us her number, so it's 270-625-0400. Of course, I'll put her information down there. Um, if you guys are looking for a hairstylist, there's no reason why anybody should go around looking like this. I'm just kidding. I have a great hairstylist. <laughs> She's super nice and she does a good job. Just I mean, some things just can't be controlled in nature. You know what I'm saying? And my hair is one of them. My whole life. I could, I need to do that one day. I need to literally show you pictures of my whole life and how crazy my hair has been my whole life. And I've just decided to embrace that for you guys. Because <laughs> the hubs has been seeing it for 23 years. He knows my hair is crazy. It just is. It's just one of those things that can't be controlled. Like me. And my mental health. <laughs> so there it is, folks. Okay, Shelly Hilliard, if you need somebody to do your hair. Now, I got a very, very special birthday shout out today to one of my bestest friends. I mean, we've been through a lot of stuff together, okay? So, I believe that being one of my bestest friends, being born in January, she just needs one of those extra nice shout outs. I need to put out to the world what she's really about. Oh, Lindsay LaRue. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now, some of these things, I'm going to tell you everything I can say about her that we've done legally. How about that? You know, that that's fair enough. I'll keep it on the legal stuff because I think still in the witness protection program, there's some things we can't talk about. So, that's going to be some of it. Um, I first met Lindsay when we entered a drag show contest in Nashville. 
Now, both of us, like, we run it up together. Like, we both did so well that we run it up together. Um, I don't know if it's a compliment or uh, if it's pitiful that we won a drag, drag show. Because, you know, we're both women. So, what were we rated on exactly? <laughs> but we were young, dumb, and intoxicated. So, it doesn't really matter, you know? Does it? Does it really matter? No, we were looking good. If drag queens think you look good, you're looking good. So me and Lindsay was looking real good, okay? Looking real good. So that's how I met my girl. But that's just the start of it. That's been so many years ago. Let's talk about how her and I uh, went undercover for the cartel. So, you know, sometimes things, and this is legal, right? This is, oh, I guess it's legal if you go undercover for the police, not the cartel. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna skip over that one. I forgot to, legal only, legal only. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, one summer we worked together at an organic glaucoma farm. Oh, ah, <laughs> see maybe, maybe when I was writing this stuff down, <laughs> I forgot to take this stuff out that wasn't legal. Oh, well shit. Okay, so um, what have Lindsay and I done together that's legal? Oh, here we go. Um, she has 14 piercings. Lindsay has 14 piercings. So let's count them. You ready? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, and because this is semi-family program, I can't tell you where 14 is, but <laughs> you should have been there for that one when we were undercover for the cartel and she had to prove herself. I'm just saying, we got matchies. <laughs> chain and the chain with the little organic plant from one friend to the other that's the best one that's the best one Lizzie dang girl you're tough 14 piercings mm, it's been a long time since we counted those out loud dang girl <clears throat> now what I want to know is how old Lizzie's gonna be before she starts to take out some of those piercings she still has all 14 of those piercings 14. That's a lot. And if you look at Lindsay, you're like, mm, no. You guys just don't even know. You don't even know. Okay. Let's see what else she did. Oh, I forgot. She was the president of a local club. I mean, she's all about the community out there. It was a fight club, but I'm pretty sure that was legal. I mean, we only took cash for bets in that club. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's legal. We weren't in the States. So, I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that, well, I guess when we did the cartel, we weren't in the States either. So, I mean, if you're not in the United States, when you're doing something like that, it's, you know, maybe it's legal in that country and not legal in this one. So me and Lindsay had some fun. We did a few things. I mean, I'm pretty sure she's at a point in her life where she won't show you all her piercings, but I mean, you could always ask. I mean, but she could, you know, like, I mean, she still has that, that roughneck way about her from being in the fight club. So, uh, you maybe be careful about how you approach her, but today's her birthday. So there it is, folks. I gave out some really fun facts and some things that Lindsay and I did together. Oh, I forgot to tell you, she's the one that got me on tequila. That girl can swig straight tequila. Can you believe that? I mean, if you see Lindsay, you're like, what? Yeah, and not even like cheap tequila. And why I cannot remember the time, I'm telling you, I'm stroking out this morning. I cannot remember her favorite tequila. It's in a green box. We just saw it the other day. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me, but she's the one that got me when I was a drinker. She's the one that got me on the tequila. Straight tequila shots. It's the smooth te tequila. Lindsay, if you see this video, please put a comment. Tell me what kind of tequila you got me stuck on when I was drinking tequila. I can't remember. But Lindsay LaRue, 
I hope you have a fantastic birthday. You're a great person. You just really hung out, you know, hung it out with this friendship with me because you know I'm nuts as hell. <laughs> and she don't even care. She don't even care. She's like, you know what? Do you want to go do something? You want to do something crazy? Yeah. Okay, I'll go and act like I'm supervising, but really, I just want to go out to fool with you. That's me and Lindsay. Okay? So, Henderson, homies, gosh damn it. I'm already hearing a siren this morning. It's early in the morning, folks. That better be a real emer I hear fire trucks. That better be a real emergency. That better be a real emergency. You hear what I'm saying? Save the stupid for the warm, folks. It's cold out of here. You know them folks getting in that vehicle right now be like, oh, shit. This better be real. This better be real. I mean, of course, if you have a car accident or your house catches on fire, you can't help that. But gosh damn it, don't do stupid shit today. Don't do any stupid. Hashtag save the stupid for the warm, folks, okay? I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Um, catch up with me tonight. We've got a really good update about something really important in our community that everybody needs to get, get together and get going, okay? So, have a great day. Happy birthday, Lindsay LaRue. Girl, I hope you have fun on your birthday. Bye.